Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to continue our discussions on how to evaluate functions. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's have this first problem. Okay, Mark charges 100 pesos for an encoding work. Okay, in addition, he charges 5 pesos per page of printed output. Okay, so kapag typing job lamang, um, fixed yung 100 pesos. Okay, so kapag nagpa-print, okay, 5 pesos per page. Okay, yung bayad, additional 5 pesos per page. So here, we're going to find f of x. Okay, ano yung f of x? Ito yung total charges or yung total fees na kailangang bayaran for encoding and printing where x represents the number of pages of printed output. So, anong itsura ng ating f of x? Okay. First, merong fixed na charge. Okay. 100 pesos. Okay. For encoding. Okay. Ngayon, kapag nagpa-print, 5 pesos per page. Okay. So, merong additional fee. So, may plus dapat dyan. So, we have plus 5x, where x is the number of pages of printed output. Okay? So, ganyan lang ang itsura ng ating f of x. Okay? Now, for letter B, how much will Mark charge for a 55-page encoding and printing work? To answer letter B, all we have to do is to find f of 55. Okay? So, isa-substitute lang natin ang 55 dito. So, we have 100 plus 5 times 55. If you do the math, you will get 375 pesos. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? A 55-page encoding and printing work costs 375 pesos. Okay? Let's have this second example. Okay? A virus spreads according to the function P of T. Okay? What is P of T? P of T is the proportion of the population that has the virus T days after the spread of virus started. Okay? And then here, we are going to find P of 4. And then we're going to interpret the result. Okay? So, it's easy, right? How do we get P of 4? Eh, di isa substitute lang natin dito yung 4 sa lahat ng T na nakikita natin. Parang ganito. If this is the given function, if we're looking for P of 4, like this, diba? Yung t na nakikita nyo dito, papalitan lang natin ng 4. Nasaan ba yun? Eto. Okay? So, it becomes negative 0.3 times 4. Like this. Okay? So, obviously, you have to use your calculator to get the value of p of 4. Okay? If you do that, you're going to have this value. 0.1397. Okay? So, how do we interpret this? What do you mean by 0.1397? It means that 13.97% or approximately 14% of the population has acquired the virus four days after it started. So to have a better understanding of this interpretation, let's consider um, 1,000 people. Okay, So if there are 1,000 people in a community, and a virus spreads according to the given function P of T, so according to this function, okay, there will be 140, saan yung 140? 14% of 1,000. Okay? So there will be 140 infected people. Okay? Four days after the spread of virus started. Okay? So yun lang yung ibig sabihin ng ating 13 point 97%. Now, after dealing with some real-life situations, okay, dito naman, we try to find the difference quotient. Ano ba yung difference quotient? Here, okay, yung quantity na ito, yung nakikita yung expression na ito, ito yung tinatawag na difference quotient. Okay, now, if you're given a function, so let's say f of x is equal to 3x plus 4, and then you are going to find the difference quotient, okay? Gagamitin nyo lang ang formula na ito. Okay? Note that H cannot be equal to zero. 
Kasi bawal mag zero ang denominator. Right? Okay. So, let's do this. If this is the given f of x, okay, to find the difference quotient, we first get f of x plus h. Yeah? You know how to evaluate functions. All you have to do is to replace x by x plus h. So, yung x na to, papalitan ko ng x plus h like this. Yeah? Okay? So, dapat ha, yung x dito nakamultiply sa 3. So, yung buong x plus h nakamultiply sa 3. Okay? And then after that, you distribute 3 inside. So, you're going to have 3 times x, you get 3x. 3 times h, you get 3h. Like this. Okay? So, you now have an expression for f of x plus h. Now, gagamitin na natin yung formula. Ito. Okay? Yung formula in getting the difference quotient. So, we simply substitute. Okay? Ano ba yung expression natin for f of x plus h? Ito. 3x plus 3h plus 4. Okay? Minus f of x. Nasaan yung f of x natin? 3x plus 4. Yeah? And then, divided by h. Like this. Okay? And then after that, you look closely kasi may magka-cancel out. Kagaya nito, 3x ito, minus 3x. So wala yan, 0 na yan. Okay, magka-cancel out. What else? Ito pa, 4 minus 4. So wala na rin yan. Yeah? Okay, so ang matitira na lang sa inyo ay 3h in the numerator and then h in the denominator. Like this. And what do you notice? magka-cancel out yung H. Like this. Okay? So, that's why ang sagot ay 3. Okay? So, if this is the given function, the difference quotient is 3. Okay? You will be meeting this um, expression when you take up calculus. Okay? So, makikita niyo ulit ito kapag nag-calculus na kayo. Let's try another one. Okay? So, Again, this is the formula in getting the difference quotient. Okay, and this is the given function. Okay, don't worry kahit g of x ang given, okay pa rin gamitin ang difference quotient. Papalitan nyo lang itong f ng g. Okay, so anong unang gagawin? If you're given this function, look for g of x plus h. Yeah? Okay, so yung x dito, papalitan ko ng x plus h. Like this. Okay? And then, you expand x plus h squared. Okay? So, you may do like x plus h times x plus h. You do the FOIL method. Or, yung shortcut. Ano ba yung shortcut? You square the first term. So, that's x squared. Okay? And then, you multiply the first term and the second term. So, that's x times h. That's hx. And then, you multiply it by 2. So, you'll have 2hx. Okay? And then, finally you square the last term. So, you're going to have h squared. So, ito siya. So, yung h, x, kapareho lang niya yung x, h. Okay? Commutative property of multiplication. Okay? After that, gagamitin na natin yung formula. Okay? So, you see, pinalitan ko lang yung f dito ng g. So, ito yon. Okay? So, ilalagay nyo lang ano ba yung g of x plus h. Ito siya. Okay? Minus, what is our g of x? Ito naman siya. Alright? And then, all over h. Like this. And then, what do we do next? Maghanap kayo ng magka-cancel out. Okay? So, nasan yun? x squared minus x squared. Kita nyo? So, magka-cancel out yan. Wala na. Zero. Okay? What else? Ito. 3 minus 3. So, wala na rin yan. Right? Lana, zero. So you only have 2xh plus h squared in the numerator. Tapos sa denominator, meron kang h. Ito yon, Okay? But this is not yet the final answer. Okay? Kasi if you check, pwede pa natin i-factor out si h. Right? Dun sa numerator. Okay? Doing that, we're going to have this. Yeah? Tapos magka-cancel out na yung h sa numerator at saka sa denominator. So, the answer here is 2x plus h. This is the difference quotient 
if the given function is um, g of x equals x squared plus 3. So I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.